The newest versions of TrueCrypt can encrypt your entire Windows drive. This is great for protecting your privacy, as it means there is no chance of leaving an important file in an unencrypted place on your hard drive. And the various temporary files which Windows creates automatically are also encrypted. Before we get started encrypting your computer, please back up your entire hard drive. A utility such as Acronis True Image is the best tool for this job. Although the encryption process includes several safeguards to prevent lost data, things can still go wrong, so back up now before we begin. Ready to proceed? OK. Firstly, start TrueCrypt. On the main TrueCrypt window, choose the System menu and select Encrypt System Partition slash Drive. TrueCrypt 6 can not only encrypt your entire hard drive, but hide an operating system too. For this tutorial, I'm going to create a normal encrypted operating system. Make sure Normal is selected, and then click Next. Now, we need to decide if we're going to encrypt the Windows partition or our entire hard drive. In this example, I'm encrypting the whole hard drive because I only have one hard drive partition. If you only have one operating system on your PC, choose Encrypt the whole drive and then click Next. TrueCrypt now asks us if we should encrypt the host protected area. This is a special area on some hard drives and encrypting it can cause problems, so we recommend you choose No and then click Next. Now we are asked how many operating systems are installed. Most users only have one operating system, usually Windows XP only or Windows Vista only. If you have two or more, consult the TrueCrypt documentation before attempting to encrypt your computer. In this example, I'm on a single boot system, so I'll choose that and then click Next. Here, you can choose the encryption algorithm to use. We recommend leaving these values as the defaults for the best balance between performance and security. So click Next. Here, we need to choose a password. The longer the password, the better, but make sure it is something you can remember without having to write it down. Enter a password Confirm it by entering it again here. And then click Next. For the encryption to be as strong as possible, we need to generate some random data. Wiggle your mouse around randomly in this window for as long as you like. Then click Next. If Windows User Account Control prompts you like this, you must click Allow. OK, we have some keys generated. Click on Next. Now we must create a TrueCrypt Rescue CD. You will need some CD burning software on your PC to do this. Once we click Next, a CD image file will be generated in my Documents folder. If you don't have any CD recording software, TrueCrypt gives us this handy link to obtain some. I'm not going to cover CD recording in this tutorial, so I'll pause the recording while I burn the CD now. OK, I've burned the CD and put it in my DVD drive. When I click Next, TrueCrypt will verify the CD for me. OK, our CD is fine. We can proceed on to the next step. Click on Next. TrueCrypt now gives us the option of secure wiping our hard drive. If you don't wipe your hard drive, an attacker might be able to recover your unencrypted data in a forensic data laboratory. 
This is pretty unlikely however, so I'm going to opt not to wipe my drive and just click on Next. OK, now TrueCrypt will install its bootloader to make sure that everything is working correctly. No actual encryption takes place at this stage. Click on Test. We recommend you print these instructions just in case you need them. When you have printed the instructions, click on OK. Time to reboot and check that everything is working. Click on Yes and wait while the computer reboots. Right, this is the screen you should see if the bootloader has installed properly. Enter your password and press return. Windows should now boot back up. Note that your login password has not changed. Great, the pretest was a success. Now it's time to start encrypting all our data. Notice the warning about power failure or crashes. But we don't need to worry about that because we took a full backup before we started. Press encrypt to start the process. This information tells you how to use your rescue CD if things go wrong. Again, we recommend you print this information before clicking OK. If Windows user account control prompts you again like this, you must click on allow. The encryption process now begins. This will take anywhere from a few minutes to several hours, depending on the size of your hard drive. I'll pause the recording here until the process is complete. Once the process is complete, you will see this window. Click on OK, then click on Finish. That's it. Your entire computer is now transparently encrypted and protected.